Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Knights deck from Illusionist, Daniel Madison, Chris Ramsey, and Oban Jones. It's a really cool, really fun new deck, all done with gold metallic inks. You wanna see what the trailer looks like? This is it. Alright, so that's the Knights. Uh, like I said, it's a collaboration between Daniel Madison, uh, Oban Jones, and Chris Ramsey. It's uh, Chris Ramsey's uh, first partnership with Daniel Madison, and uh, Oban Jones has been doing a lot of the different decks uh, for Illusionists, and so this is their uh, latest release. The theme of this deck, uh, Knights, okay, so it's kind of a playoff of Kings originally, uh, the Peter McKinnon Daniel Madison collaboration. Kings, of course, is a piece on the chessboard, and Knights are also a piece on the chessboard, so it's, uh, it's, it's continuing that theme. But this one does have more of a chess uh, theme. So you have the two knight images there in the front, which is the horse, if you don't play chess. Okay, it's the horse, it's the horsey guy. <laughs> on the back side, uh, there's some more chess pieces, and you're gonna see that chess theme uh, play out. Uh, like a lot of other Daniel Madison uh, decks, it's very minimalistic in design, not a lot to it. Uh, really nothing there on the sides. Uh, you have that gold metallic ink uh, with some of the characters there. You do a little tiny bit of ad copy about Illusionist. It does say nice across the front. Uh, the really beautiful part and really where this deck shines is the interior tuck. Uh, lining and so you got a lot of gold foil in there. You got the chessboard image and then of course the knight image as well. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they are done on their retail stock. They do have a air cushion emboss and they are traditionally cut. And if you'd like to learn more about stock cut or finish, you can click the link below in the description. All right, so this deck, uh, like I said, is a traditional cut, which means it table pharaohs very well and it is on the thinner retail stock. Okay, so if you want to know uh, how this deck feels or handles, best I can do is measure it and then compare it to other decks of similar uh, thickness. And so if I take 10 cards, 10 cards is my standard, and I use that to measure against other decks, against thickness. Uh, and so if I take 10 cards, put it in the caliper and measure it, it comes to 2.76. 2.76 is very thin, okay? And thin decks tend to feel more like a deck that's already broken in, and they're gonna be very comparable to the Roadhouse deck if you have that deck. The back design is very simple and very elegant. You do have a thin poker border, however, it's kind of an illusion because the border is only there because that's where uh, the design element ends. Uh, and you do notice that the back design is made up of tiny metallic, uh, gold metallic chess pieces. Now, the interesting thing about this is that, uh, for one, you have two knights there in the center, okay? Two knights there in the center, so that kind of makes it a two-way image. However, it is also a marked deck, okay? So these are marked cards. You won't get suit on these, so there's no way to tell if this is clubs, hearts, spades, or diamonds, but you will be able to do the numerics, and so you will be able to know uh, what number they are. And if you want the code to that, I can put the link below in the description. Out of the box, these cards also come in a very strange order, and at first glance, you might not be able to tell what it is. Uh, simply, you would just cut the deck in half, and then do one single Pharaoh Shuffle together, and then your deck is ready to go in Mamonica stack. With this deck, you will get two advertising cards. Uh, they're the knight pieces, and they're facing each other. The R card for Ramsey has a four above it, and that's for the four of spades. And the M card, that would be for Daniel Madison, has a nine above it, and that would be for the nine of clubs. With this deck, you'll also get two original jokers. You have the crow symbol, which of course is famous for being on Daniel Madison decks. And then it's sitting on top of a laid down king chess piece. 
Your ace of spades is very big, very bold, very beautiful. Uh, it does say knights across the top, Madison Ramsey, and then the United States playing card company underneath. The pips and indice cards will be somewhat standard. I mean, they're, they're pretty much standard layout. Uh, the pips themselves uh, are a little smaller than normal, so there's much more white on every field. Uh, also, the red cards have been turned into gold, so the red uh, suits are all going to be the gold metallic ink. As with other Daniel Madison decks, uh, you will get a couple of court cards that are custom. Uh, of course, you'll have a court card that has Daniel Madison on it and Chris Ramsey, but you'll also have a couple of extras in there, including Oban Jones and Bobby Fischer. All right, so that is my review for the Knights deck from Daniel Madison, Chris Ramsey, Oban Jones, and Illusionist.com. If you'd like to purchase yours, I would highly suggest you do it from Illusionist.com. As always, I recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at Facebook.com slash Magic Orthodoxy, Twitter.com slash Magic Orthodoxy, Instagram.com slash Magic underscore Orthodoxy. And if you need more content, you can always find it at MagicOrthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.